Dear Mrs. Jacobs, it is with the deepest regret that I write to you today. Your son, Mickey, has been killed in action in the course of his duties under my command. The loss of a child is difficult for any parent, yet you should know that Mickey Jacobs was one of the finest men I ever commanded. Mick was dutiful and kind, with an easy smile. A smile he professed on several occasions he got from you. The impact that his loss has had on us can only be a fraction of that which you must now be experiencing. His devotion to the principles of honor and self-sacrifice lived in every part of his life, and it was self-sacrifice of the highest order that led to his death. It is left to me, then, to provide my fullest devotion to the principle of honor, and it is that honor that demands from me a truthful retelling of the events which led to his passing. First, in the interest of frankness, your son was not a security guard for a lumber company. Your son was a hero. On August 18th of this year, your son was stationed at one of our organization's facilities in South Alabama. A security breach occurred in one of our high-risk sectors, and your son was sent in as part of a team of individuals to stop the threat. Your son was at the front of a formation of seven agents when an automated door sealed him inside the facility without his team. With no support and spotty communication, your son made his way towards danger, providing fire support for the site security staff on one of the lower levels. He was then tasked by the site director to rescue several of our research staff from the monsters that now roam the site. He was killed during the final rescue of these staff. Today, a dozen of our best minds are still alive because of your son. I cannot begin to understand the sorrow you must now feel, but know that your son's death was not in vain and that he will be remembered by all those who knew him as a brave, dutiful, and honorable man. Sincerely and most remorsefully yours, Agent Jonathan Bradley. Site 88's InfoSec AI has detected an attempt to disseminate classified materials, intercepting, redirecting, and replacing with InfoSec approved cover story. Agent Jonathan Bradley is to be reprimanded for this attempt. Dear Mrs. Jacobs, enclosed is the remainder of Mickey Jacobs' severance pay. As you were listed as Mr. Jacobs' emergency contact, we trust you to remit this payment to him in our stead. It should be noted that despite Mr. Jacobs' recent problems with drug addiction and sudden disappearance, we will be willing to provide rehabilitation services at any time should he return. Thank you for your time. Chief of Security Jonathan Bradley, Southern Crosscut Pines.